my favorite part of the beat is probably like the SpongeBob tag. Because nobody's like expecting like the SpongeBob voice. Like every time I like see reaction videos on YouTube, people be like, is that SpongeBob? And then the beat comes in and they'll be like, oh, okay, cool. That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. I started making beats in November 2016, so I haven't been making beats that long. But what really inspired me was when I started listening like, to Pablo Cardi and like his production by Mexico Row. Like, this shit hard. I'm gonna try this. Like, I started uploading like type beats and I keep getting like this following on YouTube. Like, they keep pushing me and I was like, okay, let's go. That day when I made the Robin of the Paint beat, I was sitting in my room, I was watching like South Park and uh, I was like, oh, I haven't uploaded a beat to my YouTube page in a while. So let's, let's do this. And like, I think I heard the Manolio version of Playboy Cardi with Pierre. So I got inspired, so I was like, okay, cool, all right, let me try to like, make something in that type of style. So my friend sent me like this loop. And I was like, ah, that shit's kind of slow. I don't really like the vibe. So I, I reversed it. Then I picture about 300 cents, so it came out like this. So I went to the 808, and I was listening to Manolia like I said, so it goes pretty simple down, downstairs, but I wanted to add my own flavor to it, so. So I had two 808s, because I didn't want it to be, to be too repetitive, but it's kind of the same pattern. Cool, we got the melody, we got the 808, that's the normal clap, nothing special. Easy two steps hi hats. It was getting too repetitive, and I wanted like to switch it up a little bit, so I added this kick pattern. After like the first eight bars, I was like, okay, we need to slow it down because people are gonna get hype. So I put like this trans effect right here. Like it slowed down like the vibe on the beat. It's like get ready to the next part. And this was the perfect timing for me like to experiment with the tag. I was watching SpongeBob like a day or something. He was like, oh, let me, uh, that's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as rebuttal. And I was like, hold up. That shit would be hard if like the beat would drop after that shit. And it went something like this. That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. So when I uploaded the beat, that shit blew up. Months after like after the beat had been blowing up, I was like looking around like what type of people use my beats. So I was finding this kid. So I was playing it. And then I heard my tag like, and I like, they say like, mommy, where you being the highest person in the I was like, oh shit, this shit hot. But it was kind of underrated. It, it had like 1,000 views or something like that. When I started seeing like Chris Brown reposting it on Instagram, I was like, okay, this shit's gonna get a lot of exposure. I saw it on World Star. It got like 1 million in like a day. Like Namir was also shocked when, the, when this song blew up. Like, oh, okay, this shit's gonna change our lives. But I'm that nigga, I won't never change. Rubbing off the paint, smoking dang, gotta 